Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks comes with a handy menu bar at the top of the application window that can be used to quickly access all of the commands and features within the program. To perform a command, click the menu bar command category, such as File, Edit, or Lists, for example, to display a drop-down menu of the specific subcommands within the selected command category. You can then click on the desired subcommand to execute within the drop-down menu. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to perform different commands within QuickBooks. The keyboard shortcuts are always listed in the menu bar to the right of the specific command to which they correspond. For example, if you click the Lists command within the menu bar, you can see that the keyboard shortcut for the Chart of Accounts command is Control plus A on the keyboard. You can then click away from the menu bar drop-down menu in order to retract it. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard and strike the A key on the keyboard to open up the chart of accounts window. If your goal is to become faster using QuickBooks, then learning your keyboard shortcuts will assist you. Another handy keyboard shortcut is that pressing the escape key on your keyboard will close the active window. Also notice that not every single command within the menu bar has a corresponding keyboard shortcut. For example, if you click the lists command in the menu bar to display the drop-down menu, you can see that a command like item list does not have a keyboard shortcut displayed. However, there is a keystroke combination that you can perform to access that command. If you press the Alt key on your keyboard and then examine the menu bar, you'll see that each command category, like the F in File or the E in Edit, has a single underlined letter. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and strike the underlined letter for the corresponding command category, you'll see its drop-down menu appear. At that point, if you examine the subcommands within the drop-down menu, you'll notice that each of the subcommands also has a single underlined letter. At that point, you no longer have to hold down the Alt key. You can just strike the key on your keyboard that corresponds to the underlined letter of the subcommand you would like to execute. So, using the example of accessing the item list, you can simply hold down Alt plus L on your keyboard, and then strike the I key on your keyboard to access the item list. You'll find that every command has a keyboard shortcut if you follow this method. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.